Well, I've heard that high school can be stressful and competitive, and so wondering what kinds of ways that we can help minimize and reduce that stress. A lot of students are really pushing themselves to be better, to grow or to develop or to achieve. That can really feel pretty stressful as a parent of a young child. Life is already somewhat stressful and, and already kind of maybe even starts to feel a little bit competitive. So think of it as a team. There's the parent piece, there's how to get some good information and good support from school, and then there's also the doctor that takes care of your son or daughter. Knowing your child well, you're seeing how are they at handling new situations. Do they love learning new things, or are they looking forward to the next year in school, or are they apprehensive? So I think knowing your child and knowing what their limits are in terms of new things and things that could be stressful is really important because you really don't want to put them in a situation where they're consistently being overwhelmed by the demands of the situation, whether that's cutting down on activities so that they're not spending the whole weekend going from one activity to another, building in that, that kind of time. And I think, you know, some students, you know, love that more, love to be going all the time, you know, want to do more. Other, other students, you know, that's a little bit too much for them. So knowing your child is, is really, really important. I think a lot of parents have dreams for their children about their accomplishments and how they're going to succeed, and those expectations are really usually pretty high in terms of what you imagine. So I think for a parent, kind of being in control of your own expectations and, and not just simply thinking that your lacrosse playing son or daughter is going to be an All-American or your child who loves to do dance is going to be on Broadway, to really see that your own expectations can generate a lot of pressure, even if you're not actually speaking them, because they're going to be, your child's going to be able to read in your body language, in your tone of voice, that you're not quite satisfied. And then the other piece is developing a good relationship with the school, hearing from the teacher about how does your son or daughter handle learning new material? Do they just soak it up and they want more? Or do they need some time to really absorb it and integrate it before they're ready for something more? And so that can really help you know, when you're helping with homework or grilling them on the spelling test. You really need to be encouraging your child to do more, but to make sure that the more you're encouraging them to do is not overwhelming them and adding more stress. I also think the last leg, just having a good relationship with the doctor that takes care of your son or daughter. If your pediatrician is asking about weight gain or sleep or change in habits, that you're, you're really upfront, you know, and make sure that, that your pediatrician has the information that, that you have about how your child is doing. So those are things that I think about when I hear that question. I mean, everyone wants their children to do even better than they did in all these areas. And I think it's important to kind of manage that so that you're raising the child that's in front of you, not the child you hope they become.